Hi guys, now we're going to talk about one of my very favorite topics, remote or psychic seduction, because this is one of the most powerful ways to attract the opposite sex. For some reason, it's kind of gotten a bad rap, and that's really unfortunate because it's something that is used by people who know the secret to attracting others. There is absolutely nothing that you're doing that will compromise your integrity. In fact, you may occasionally practice the art of remote seduction without even realizing it. It is simply directing your thoughts and combining that with visualization and emotion and then sending it through your intention and direction to whomever you wish. It's a powerful tool that you can add to your toolbox, and it requires no special effort, no physical changes, no sexy outfits, or texting, or chasing someone. All you have to do is just mentally connect to the person that you want and desire for it to work. The person can be sitting right next to you, they can be in the same house, or they can be in a totally different country. It doesn't matter. It works with anyone regardless of their distance to you. It isn't like my PW book technique that creates an emotional attachment, love, or dependence. Psychic seduction is used to create sexual tension and passion. Some of my readers used it successfully to ignite passion in their passionless relationships or marriage. They've used it to spice up their sex life or to make their significant other desire them again. And in one case, after more than five years of no intimacy, a reader used it and now enjoys a better sex life than ever just by using this easy technique. For those of you who would say it's taking advantage of someone, I would argue that it's no different than having a hot body or wearing a sexy outfit or being flirtatious. It's just that remote seduction requires none of those things because it is all done with the power of your mind. I believe it's always best to know the person or at least to be in their physical proximity. But there's one of my readers who's attracted a celebrity using this technique that I teach in my book. Someone she didn't know and had never met but wanted to and did. So I don't think there are limitations on who it works with. So my suggestion is just to remain open-minded and try it. Just as in my other videos, you're going to get into a relaxed state to visualize. Eventually, it won't be necessary to do this, but right now, because you need to shift your consciousness and you can't do it on command, let's just focus on relaxing. You don't have to be in a complete meditation mode. All you have to do is really say sleep in your head until you feel yourself physically relaxing. For me, all that takes is about three times of saying sleep, and then I am completely and totally relaxed. If the person is not with you when you're using remote seduction technique, I want you to visualize your person of interest with as much detail as possible. If you've been intimate with them before, I want you to remember the details of the intimacy such as maybe what they looked like, they felt like, how they smelled, the feel of their skin, and any detail that would make it real for you. If you haven't been intimate, I want you to just visualize what that would be like if you were and create the image in your mind in detail. Now see the two of you together and surrounded in a beautiful translucent bubble. There is nothing else, just the two of you in this bubble as it gently and effortlessly floats. Now I want you to visualize being intimate with the person, as intimate as you feel comfortable being. You can be fully clothed or totally naked. It doesn't matter, it's entirely up to you and whatever you're comfortable with. The vision of intimacy can last as long or be as short as you'd like it to be. You may find yourself very aroused during the visualization, and that is perfectly normal. But your main focus will be on connecting to the person that you're with and feeling their emotion as well as your own. So try to put as many details in the visualization as possible. Also, you want to remain in the present moment. Don't think of it as a future possibility. Think of it as if it were happening right now. If you happen to be sitting next to someone or in their physical proximity, 
I want you to use the remote seduction on them and visualize touching them or whispering something into their ear. And every now and then, just glance over to see if you see a change in their behavior or maybe a shift in their energy towards you. I can't tell you how many readers have contacted me saying this has worked for them and how men look at them and treat them differently. You'll find that you will become a magnet to the opposite sex without having to do anything else and they will begin to pursue you as it should be. When you're finished with the visualization, just imagine the person gently floating out of the bubble and allow yourself to disconnect from them before opening your eyes. Remote seduction is a really good way to raise your energetic vibration because if love is one of the highest vibration of all, sexual vibration would be very close to it. So don't be surprised if people you haven't directed it at still contact you. You may have exes, friends, or even strangers showing a different kind of attraction to you and giving you more attention than ever before. If you want to learn more about the technique and how and why it works, plus a little twist to it, the link for my remote seduction book is in the description below. One thing I do want to mention is that the difference between a remote seduction and just a memory is that you are living it in the present moment in your visualization. So it's very powerful. And if you want to feel the difference, just allow yourself to think about an interaction in the past. You can feel that it has less importance and emotion attached to it. Now, visualize the remote seduction technique that we just learned. You will actually feel the difference in the connection to the person. It's almost as if every cell in your body is vibrating, just as if you were experiencing it in the present moment. You can feel the difference between a memory, a mere thought, and a remote seduction encounter. Stay tuned for more tips and suggestions and check back because I'll be continuing to add more videos on relationships and law of attraction tips. I'll see you soon.